Oh, I see. <laughs> Let's see if we can't get that spray paint. I think it might be empty, but we can still use it. But hey, brilliant. Okay. Now let's see if we can't get Einstein out again with this hot dog sample. Put on this plank. Decency prevents me from leaving this here. Decency? What if I just do this? There you He's go. He's gotta be hiding in here somewhere. Let's have a look. Oh, I need. Let's see if we can't dog him out. Now, if I was a dog, I would hide behind this table. Decency prevents me from leaving this here. I don't want to leave it there. What about in the fridge? Decency prevents me from leaving this here. Okay, fine. Just check Stay the fridge. Stay put now, boy. Wherever you are. Not a sign of him. Damn. He got out. Hmm. Nah, I don't think Jennifer... I don't think I can do much with Jennifer at the moment. McFly? Oh, Ice no. spray can? Oh. <laughs> Dork. I need... Just... Oh, come on! Is this going to be like one of those trial and error type things? Damn. There's Aini again. Let's see if we can't get him out this time. Okay, let's climb up here. As we did last time. Where could he be hiding? Now he came from this angle, so I wonder... This pallet? You in there, Aini? Or whatever your name is these days. But he was over sign there. Of him. Oh, what the crap. Ch crap. I wonder, can I just use the prank again? I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. Okay, okay. Wuss. Bloody hell, McFly, you might actually be a wuss. Ugh. Okay, now if we go out again, Heine should come back. There you go. So Heine's back again. I'm obviously doing something wrong, but what am I doing? Let's use a quick hint again. They're too clever for that. If only the dog had left tracks, you wouldn't have to guess which hiding spot that he is in. Caution. Wet paint. Try using Jennifer's spray paint on the planks of wood the dog constantly run a runs across. Really? It's as simple as that. Ah. Oh. Don't get me wrong, I love point and click adventure games like this, but god damn I'm used to some days. I blame I blame the party and I did last night. Now that was some good partying. Now if I was a spray can. I'd use myself on this plank. It would look better blue. Would this count as vandalism? Okay, so we painted the plank. Now let's go over there. See if we can't get Arnie. Uh, Arnie. Where could he be hiding? Yes, his name is now Arnie. Arnold Weinsteiger. No, no. I bet you're under here. Nope. He's right back there. Not a sign of him. There you go, he's ran off again. But now, when he comes back, he should run over the plank, thus leaving tracks. Now, I'm confused as to why he doesn't leave tracks on the way. Yeah, on the way down the plank. I don't. Well. Well, I'm guessing he went down the plank. When he obviously went past us. Okay. Now let's get this sorted once and for all. Okay, so he's obviously... Trailed on some tracks with him. Let's see if we can't find him this time. 
Okay. Now we're in business. Now, if I was a doggy, where would I be? It's obviously behind the table. Arnie. I mean, Arnie. Yeah. I outsmarted you, didn't I? Hi, Arnie. Oh, don't be like that, Arnie. What's up, boy? Einstein. Is that your name in this timeline too? Huh, guess not. Hmm. Do you want this hot dog, boy? Look, Einy, I've got a treat for you. Atta a boy. Now hold still. See, I'm not such a bad guy, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. I guess I've won you over. Yeah. Wish they were all this easy. A brand new friend. My brand new friend uh, and what me. What is it, boy? Yeah, what is it? Ha 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 Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen. <laughs> Wait, I know that creature. Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. You what? You that's right, what? he's my dog now. <laughs> citizen, you uh... are in violation of statute 357K. K, huh? demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Filthy, Damn. wretched beasts. Don't worry, I don't Once say I that. all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. Now stay out of trouble. Damn Unless right. you want a visit from Citizen Brown. Oh, really? There's only one thing left to do. It's time to hook back with Jennifer. Oh yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I just found that absolutely hilarious. Dog! <laughs> uh. <laughs> it was just so funny! Hi, Jennifer. Now, obviously, that close up means that that's the last thing we gotta do. Now, remember what. Um, remember what our mum told us? We can obviously swoon the ladies by using smooth jazz. Well, screw smooth jazz. Let's get rocking. Check this out. What? You swiped your big brother's guitar? Is that supposed to impress me? Nope. It's not my brother's. It's mine. Yeah, sure. And you'd play it for me. Only you don't have an amp. Oh, yeah, that's right. Damn Pathetic. it. Pathetic. Oh, well, uh, I didn't think this through, did I? Damn it! Uh, amp, amp. Why can I possibly get an amp? They bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. I didn't want to click that. Hmm. If I was an amp, where would I? <gasps> Wait a minute. One of those squawk boxes. She's already got a guitar playing boyfriend. That was a point. Jennifer needs to see how you compare to Leech. Keep egging her and she'll put you two to the test. Aha! I see. Okay, Jen. I'll I'll bug you. What is it now? Tell you what it is. Dump Leech already. Leech is a wasteoid. Come on, Jen. It's you and me. Dream on, McFly. We might have had a thing for about ten minutes, but you're not even in the same league as Leech. Oh really? You and the s you and Leech are really. Ooh. You and Leech, Jennifer. Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. Oh really? I play guitar. So you got yourself a new guitar player. What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Oh. Yeah, I remember. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. Oh, I'm yeah. talking electric guitar, Martin. I'm gonna be honest, the ukulele has to go. Ukulele? I can now play Leech any day. On ukulele, on electric, on bass, on oboe, on, on cello. It doesn't even matter what strings you give me, just let me pluck. I can now play your loser boyfriend 
any day of the week. You're Damn that right. desperate to get to first base. Oh, yeah. Did you say first or fourth? <laughs> I'd give you two and a half. But first, you gotta prove you've got better fingers than Leech. You ready to throw down? Oh, yeah. I was born ready. You got a guitar? Oh, Never yeah. leave home without it. Hold on. You can knock on my door anytime. Hold Shut it, up, we got Leech. company. You got a bug up, by the way, What's Leech. that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him, there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You wanna go prove it? The Ring of Rock? Don't crush him too bad. Just teach him a lesson. Here we go. Let's move to the left. Um, let's move towards his amp. Oh, my amp. Never mind. I was going to try moving towards his. Man, this is some funky rocky now, I can tell you right now. Um, climb on platform. Damn right. Now climb down towards Jennifer. Yeah. I could do that too. Only better. Now climb on platform again. As you guys can probably tell by now, I have no idea what combination I should be doing. But this is a whole matter of trial and error, and quite frankly, I'm going to trial and error as much as possible, whilst rocking out. Okay. Aha, wait a minute, climb on platform again. I've got an idea. Okay, let's try hopping. Damn. I thought that would be the right thing to do, to break that plank or whatnot. It's got to be something to do with getting him up there. Hmm. Climb on the platform again. I think I've got this. I think I now know what I've got to do to him. I just love how Jennifer's going absolutely crazy for this. Okay, flourish. Okay, so he moves down there. And I'm now in front of Jennifer. Um... Move towards Amp. Oh man, I'm actually having quite a bit of a tough time here. Um, now it's got to be something to do with obviously that plank and getting him into the dumpster. But I can't flourish. The hop seems like a good idea. Um, try flourishing. There you go, he's now in front of my amp. And I'm now in front of his. Okay, so now we switch places. Um, let's try flourishing again. Cut my cord, you asshole! Somebody should have cut it a long time ago, McFly. The winner and undefeated champion of Hill Valley, 
Claim your prize, champ. Mm. <laughs> oh, no way. Mm. That was so Go gay. Back to work. See you, loser. I can't believe you'd let him get away with that. He totally broke the rules. There are no rules in rock and roll, Martin. That's why a guy like you shouldn't compete. Damn it. Hmm, no rules in rock and roll, huh? I wonder. Is there anything I can do to this setup over here? Don't really have anything that I can do about it. Uh, that leads right. to the soup mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. Hmm. No rules in rock and roll, and yet I've. I've got to get. Oh, this is so annoying. I'll get it eventually. I will get this. Yeah? Okay, how can I play I the want Jenny a rematch. Day? Ooh, you got nerve, McFly. You really want to be humiliated like that again? It's nothing but a poser. I got the technique. Look at my floating guitar. You know? Want a sample? Maybe. If you can beat Leech. Challenge accepted. I already swatted you once, McFly. Shouldn't you be lying in the gutter? I was, but then your mom threw me out. What'd you Ooh. say about mother? Try not to leave any scars. <laughs> What'd you say about my mother? Here we go. Let's get rocking out again. Scissor kick. Okay, that was the right one to start with. Then we climb on platform. And obviously get his ass up there. Now he's flourishing. And then hop! Huh? Done! Martin McFly, that was, that was, that was totally awesome. Damn right it was. What can I say? Some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't. Mm -hmm. You broke my head, Stock. <laughs> I think I've got a new idea. I think I broke more Come than here. that. Wait, I got a better idea. Don't. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Bow chicka bow wow. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. Just oh yeah. Just just mm. touch it. Touch it good. Hooliganism. Oh. Delinquency. Officer Parker. Oh shit. I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number. Jennifer. Daddy. Daddy! D. Open mouths? Oh yeah, Jennifer Parker. Uh. You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop. I know, right? We don't use words like that in this town. Hormones, hormones, I'll deal hormones. I'll you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? What? Oh, come on. That's a little Officer, harsh. give Mr. McFly a 476 D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. Oh, no. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble <laughs> with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. Oh, no. I hope Jennifer's going to be alright. Fly! Jennifer? Wonder what's up. Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Jeez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. Oh, I know this is going to be I hard to I'm believe, cool. but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin. It's Marty. Well, Marty. What's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around here? Oh. Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, What's citizen? Uh-oh. 
Get out of here, Jen. It's Not a problem. it's the imitation Do you want Robocop. To hear me yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Really? Detention. You've accrued over fifteen thousand demerits in the past twenty-four hours. Winning? Cool. Is it, young Mister McFly? Is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. Of course it is, whoever you are, weird old lady. But you are in a heap of trouble. Heap trouble. of trouble. Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Take care like of me? Plus I don't need help. Biff. Perhaps the program is in need of new volunteers. Oh, bring it. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, Let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. Go on, take me Citizen to Citizen Brown it. immediately. Yes. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma oh, right. Time. We get to see Doc. Hallelujah. I always knew your goody two shoes A plus student act was too good to be true. Okay, at least we got into the city hall and now we're getting a chance to meet Doc. Hopefully this goes down well. Hope he hasn't changed that much. Because Hill Valley is a shitter place. Um, Doc? He always was a fan of his clockwork. Come in, citizen. Whoa. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, president of the Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full ride scholarship to Strickland College. Strickland! The Courthouse Challenge to Portland Award. Zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is What happened to you? What happened to me? What happened to you? Yeah, what happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Doc, interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Uh, uh, fine, I guess? Whatever. Let's get through this nonsense so I can set you straight. You'll set me straight? Yes. Explain. Hill Valley's not supposed to be like this, Doc. This whole crazy world you've created, it's totally mental. There's all these stupid rules and everybody's acting all weird. My dad's turned into this creepy snoop. Mom's completely pathetic. And Jennifer's kind of scary. And Biff! It's like he's a zombie or something. Oh and yeah. It's all basically your fault. <laughs> just so not you blaming you. This interview is really well, more about we're just me blaming you. Than you? Yes. You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. yes. Cry for help, as it were. Yes. yes. No. Wait. wait Tell wait. me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? The sauce? I'll give you some sauce. Half-life sauce. Nah. Um. Uh. uh yeah. Leave my mum out of this. Forget my mother. She's not the issue here. Don't ever forget your mother, Martin. Your parents are your superiors, and respect for one's superiors is absolutely essential to the Hill Valley Order. I'm surprised your father hasn't set you straight on this point. He's shown himself to be a very obedient and cooperative citizen. Obedient and cooperative citizen. You warped him! You mean a warped citizen? He's supposed to be a science fiction writer, not a peeping Tom. And you're supposed to invent a time machine. Time machine? Yeah, Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Yeah, Why? man. Sorry about that, guys. My phone just went off. Uh... Because! Well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes! Yes, it is fascinating. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because? Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. 
Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. Impractical and dangerous? No, I mean, well, it is, but no! Yes, I, I mean, no. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time and somehow your timeline got messed up and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Damn right. Think, think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other when you were 18. I'm Harry Callahan. Back in the day. Incredible. You remember this me? This case is more serious than I'd imagined. What? The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. What are you talking about? This is the alternate... Ex <laughs> well, that's pretty much answered it for me. This is the alternate reality. No, this is the alternate reality. My reality is the real reality. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. Social yeah, conditioning? I no, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Uh, uh, mmm, ah, uh. ah. Uh. Take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your ma your memory. You were going to say imagination, weren't you? Um, how can we convince him? Now, look around the room, he says. Well, he does like his clocks. Photo of Einstein. Wait. Photo of Einstein. Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me, but you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Yeah. Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do, I, I do recall something of a sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. It was. There wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. Exactly. Uh, an impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. You know it's true, Doc. Don't you dare lie. Like this clock, for example. Something about that clock looks familiar. It does look familiar, doesn't it? Tell you what, do we have anything on our person that can remind him? Of course! Doc's notebook! If anything can remind him, it's himself. Check himself. this out, Doc. It's all your notes about the flux capacitor. Your greatest invention. That can't be my notebook. The handwriting is far too sloppy. It says Emmett Brown on the cover, you douche hog. Ah. Oh. It's gotta be something else. Wait a minute. Crime rate and all time low. Carl Sagan. How about this? Remember this. Carl Sagan escapes. June 13th, 1931. Yes, I remember the incident back when crime went unchecked in Hill Valley. I'm the one who rescued him, and I did it with the help of your first invention, the rocket powered drill. Yeah. The rocket powered drill? Yes. Never worked. A failed and misguided contraption with a tendency to explode. But I. Uh. But we used it. Bizarre fantasy life. Go on, proceed. Fantasy life? Doc, snap out of it, man. Come on, um... Look at this newspaper from 1986. Wait, oh, is that supposed to be this hill valley? Um... We can try it. They don't need it. Never mind. Didn't think that would work. Um... What about the picture of George McFly? See, this is my father back when he was a teenager. With your time machine, I went back to 1955 and helped him stand up to Biff. Interesting. Of course, Mr. Tannen spent most of 1955 in our juvenile rehabilitation facility, learning to control his anger. He did? No wonder my dad's still so... lame. True. That makes sense of a few things. Symbol. I can't tell if it's a guy celebrating a touchdown or chained up in a gulag. Glass half full, Marty. Half full. <laughs> half full. Um...